Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome, welcome. Uh, so we're going to be playing through Red Dead Redemption on the Xbox 360. Um, I actually just finished playing Red Dead Redemption 2 on the PS4. And I honestly loved it. It's become one of my favorite games ever. So if you don't know, Red Dead Redemption 2 is actually a prequel to this game so i wanted to come back in and now that i know the full story of red dead redemption 2 or the prequel this should be pretty interesting but you guys will get to see it um, from the way it was released and yeah thanks for watching i'm just gonna let this intro play out And I'm not sure exactly how this is going to go, but I will try to not include too many spoilers for the second game. I am considering replaying that, and if I do, I will record it for you guys. For one, am grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. <laughs> wow. Father, do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Hmm. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. That is true, even till today. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm not going to bring politics in it. is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. 
And who let you worship in peace? Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. And here we are. This is our character, John Marston. I already got a deadly assassin outfit. I don't know why. I don't know if, uh... I do have a previous save on this, so maybe that. But anyways, this guy stumbling around right after the saloon. All right, let's get in here. I do want to say though, the controls uh, are really close to the second game on the PS4, so my my muscle memory seems to be fine with this. Sometimes. I'm Jake. Your friends from Blackwater hired me to guide you. They ain't my friends, but pleased to meet you, Jake. I got the horses saddled up and ready out front. Guessing this is my horse. Take it easy until we're out of town. Ain't no point in causing a rocket. Yeah. Are we just gonna wait for the train? I can do that too. So is Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. Strange place for a decent fella to want to visit, if you don't mind me saying. Who said I was a decent fella? It's been abandoned for years now. Folks say it was built during the Mexican War. What kinds of soldiers around back then? Why'd they leave? Well, I ain't entirely sure. I, I heard they had to go up north to fight Indians, or maybe they got tired of being soldiers and went looking for gold. You know how things is. So what are you doing up at the fort? I'm looking for an old friend. Well, like I says, you ain't gonna find many folk around those parts these days. Those you do find are about as sociable as an old three to back to. <laughs> I mean, I ain't one to judge a man by the company he keeps, but... Well, he ain't been friends for a long time. So like I said, I won't spoil too much, but Are you like he said, on any time in Armadillo, Mr. it's Martin? an old friend of his, I it. I ain't on so it has to long. do with the prequel. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landon. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? <laughs> By the way, this game is for mature audiences, so if you're not mature, yeah. get the heck out of here. Oh, it was the marshal who hired me. Lee Johnson, do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from some Blackwater big bugs asking for a guide. I guess it's none of my business. That's right. Very 
very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. That's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you're better off not knowing. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> not far now, Mr. Marston. The fort's just over this hill. One thing I do love about these games is the follow mechanics where you just hold A and he'll keep up with them. left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> All right, approach Fort Mercer. And I have played this game, but I haven't played it basically since it first came out. So I don't remember everything about it. Some stuff I do, obviously, but not everything. I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <laughs> he implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. <laughs> well, that didn't work out. And that's it, guys. End of story. See you guys on the next game. Or not.
Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr... Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old times' sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> you seen my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. All right. So what is the first mission? Join Bonnie right away, huh? All right. All right, guys. So well, we got this time to walk over there. A little bit about me, just so you know what sort of uh, gameplay this will be. I do like to take my time when I play these type of games. So I'm not going to be running everywhere jumping on my horse just to get somewhere faster I do like to get immersed so that's one thing you can expect also this is my first playthrough sorta so I'm not very uh, talkative about all this just yet who knows maybe later on if I get the hang of it but as a starter I do find it kind of hard to concentrate on the game and uh, giving you guys commentary. I, paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. <laughs> There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good for nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Come on, then. I'll show you around the property. And now we got a black horse. This is a nice looking horse, though. One thing they do in the second game that I love the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Is that you can I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. You can basically keep the horse that you start with throughout the whole game. Of course you can get different ones, buy different ones. But here's the corral. Basically my whole playthrough I had the same horse. You can revive them. It certainly looks like a fine corral. I kill them when they're wounded. More horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line finally got finished. 
bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarlane. Well, are we going inside? Get out of my way, lady. <laughs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. This lady's a little too welcoming, wouldn't Mr. you say? Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. Oh. So what the hell is my horse doing over there? You know. Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. One thing I didn't look up. Um, was the gun controls. I mean, they should be pretty simple, but I think it has a pretty heavy lock-on mechanic. I'm gonna check damn it, these rabbits if I could turn that off and if it's Come on, let's get rid of them once and doable all. without it. Get your rifle out. It's about time these little thieves met their maker. Why isn't he pulling it out? There it is. See what I mean? The, the lock-on makes it real easy. For now, I'm gonna leave it though. Oh well, I shouldn't get in front of her. So I'm considering turning off the mini map. If it's not the stealing our cattle, it's the rabbit stealing our crops. But it ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city. Look out, coyote! Yeah, Rockstar can be a bit tricky to play without the mini map. You lady. Good shooting, Mr. Marston. Well, we got rid of the coyotes. I just wish we'd saved all the chickens. Come on, I'll show you the way to your room. Mm -hmm. 
You know, you can actually handle a rifle. It's something I've had a little experience in. Maybe Bill Williamson did get lucky after all. Luck didn't really come into it, miss. You're a useful man to have around the ranch, that's for sure. But don't think I've forgotten what brought you here. We'll do whatever we can to help you. I sure appreciate that, Miss McFarland. This is you, Mr. Marston. Thank you for your help, Mr. Marston. Makes me kind of happy I saved your life. Get some sleep and I will see you in the morning. Good night, Miss McFarland. I'm just going to keep this rifle and not mention anything about it. All right. All right, let's check into this real quick. Let's see with the shooting mechanics. Uh, looks like they're not gonna let me switch anything. Configure, targeting mode, normal, expert. I wonder what that is. Casual, normal, expert, all right. Multiplayer, targeting mode, doesn't matter too much. We're not gonna be doing that. Invert camera, no, camera X, no. Horse control, horse relative, camera relative, horse relative. Vibration on, of course. Sensitivity seems fine. I might bring it down a tiny bit. Uh, auto center on. South plano, no. Auto save on. That's fine. Mm. Let's try it out. Uh, show map off the waypoint on. That's fine. Subtitles kill effect on. Oh, it only turned off. There we go. Multiplayer doesn't matter. Saturation, brightness. Bring down the brightness. I don't know how that's going to be on the recording, but I want my dark to be dark. This is I already got some outfits. The high class attire. Oh, it looks like just that one. Alright, some people even deal in valuable information. You can now help the ranch. And patrol McFarland's ranch. Okay, let's save. By saving, am I gonna go to sleep and then just wake up in the morning? Uh, so as you can see, I do have this save file from 2015. Hmm. The Sport of Kings and Liars, huh? Let's just save it here. So, in 2015, I think I just started replaying it, but I didn't finish it again. I did finish it the first time though. Go to B on your map to speak with Bonnie McFarlane. Alright. So that's the problem with the mini map. It doesn't I have no idea where to go. Unless I bring this up, I guess. And I was assuming I just had to go to her spot. Like I said, we're gonna try it out. I won't be bringing up the map every time if I know where it is. It might help me learn the locations a little better. The only problem though is sometimes they'll be like, let's say they're standing next to this rock and they'll just say, go speak to her, but I'll have no idea where she is at that point. So we'll see how it plays out. And I don't know if I needed to bring my horse actually, but that's fine. Let's see how uh, far along I can get into this story without getting my horse killed, that black and gold. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Mr. Marston. This dude even knock? Thank you, how are you? Well, I'm fine, thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. 
A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Nice, my horse just went back to its, uh... Hitch. Whoa there. Come on. All right, we're about to have us a little race. Give me a chance to test out the On sensitivity. the count of three. Three, two, one. Let's roll. Go. Oh, crap. I trust you're not going to be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all. So here's one of the problems. I didn't know where I was supposed to go. All right, it'll be fine as long as I can. Oh, whoa. This is crap. Okay, that's another problem. I can't see my horse's stamina without the freaking map. That's a little dumb. Go. Let's go. It does give me a. Uh little vibration prompts though so it's not completely terrible Come on. but I don't think I'm doing too good yeah I might have to turn on that mini map whoa almost went off there All right, we got this. We got this. Yeah! Come on, come on, boy. Get out of my way, lady. This sure beats milk and cows. Yeah, let's go, Miss McFarland. How you doing back there? Oh my god. What the hell, horse? <laughs> I didn't go that way. That was all him. That was all him. Alright, hold on. After this start. Three. Three, no, two, no, let's keep it without it. One. Go! I trust you're not gonna be a gentleman about this. You don't know me at all, Miss McFarland. Come on. Farland. 
Are you saving the best for last? Come on, easy up now. Would you like me to slow down? One thing is the sensitivity. Crap. I think I am gonna put it back up. And I think I just ran over a raccoon. Sort of just goes crazy every now and then. Alright, we're getting close to where he just decided to commit suicide, so let's be careful here. Slow down! This is how it's done! The horse riding is different though from the second game. I think it's a lot easier to get thrown off your horse on this one. Because I started riding like I do on uh, the second game, but as you saw in the first attempt, it didn't work out. the marshal a visit in armadillo sometime i'm sure he could help you deal with that nice mr williamson yeah i might just do that miss mcfarland you do whatever you think best mr marston oh my fame's gone up marshall johnson's available to talk all right cool So there's a mission here. Marshall Johnson's available in Armadillo. And it says something about helping them out right in this ranch. Will that show on the map? Or is that only like at night? Yeah, looks like it's a night thing. That's a night watch a job. Got a doctor's office, a general store. You talk to Bonnie right now. Isn't there a way to show? There you go. Legend. There's those two missions available right now. And we will explore this map a bit. We will do a lot of the side quests. But for now, let's just focus on the story. Get this started. Get myself situated. Mr. Marston, how are you? And then we'll see. Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> take the reins, Mr. Marston. No problem. Can I go through here? No. If you don't mind, I'd really like to get moving. <laughs> All right, let's see how uh, much better, wagons control on this. A couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? 
Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. A peculiar outlook. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately enigmatic. I'm not. So that's one problem I'm going to have. I don't know how to get to Armadillo. Gotta turn left and then it's just straight on that road, but... Not this. Yes, you are! You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality! I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. Yeah, I do think the sensitivity needs to go back up. I think there was where it was. I'm assuming that's where I had it back in 2015. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah. And I'm the Queen of England. And at what point during your day of hunting down outlaws do you find time to raise chickens? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. Kind of fell in laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. How well do you know New Austin? I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to, used to work with. Yeah, New Austin. The last real outlaw country. Where the old ways still hold true. Do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. Do a man right? Well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea of what's right and what's wrong there. Dear, oh dear, Mr. Marston, what dreadful novel did you get that romanticized drivel out of? Those days are long gone if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the cars. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. So I know my way around here a tiny bit. Um, the second game. You look like a man who's been uh, through the mill. I won't say too much actually about the second game. I mean, you've lived some life. I'm 27 years old and I have rarely left Hennigan's stead. Although many years ago we did briefly employ a French governess. Well, I think she was French. She said she was French, but she spoke Russian. That was when Paul thought I would become a lady. A change of pasture doesn't always make for a fatter calf. I know. And I wouldn't change my life for all the money in the world. I'm just saying, sometimes I wish I'd been, well, braver. Been to more places, seen more things. If you ask me, it usually takes more strength to stay than to run, Miss McFarland. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not, but it does okay for us. important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. All right, let's go see this doctor. Hey, partner. Finally come to get that bullet out your leg. I hope that helps. That miracle thing makes Thank you very you. much. You better watch it. Get it. Howdy. Hello. So press select to open your satchel.
Do I need to use it now? Oh, that's another thing. I don't know my freaking health. <laughs> oh, they shouldn't have put that together though, the minimap and the... So, I already got full health. Yeah, I wanted to have it off just for more immersion, but... Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once. And a little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take the stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. No problem, miss. Actually, it might be a problem in this game. So if I want to leave Armadillo, I could ride this stagecoach. My honor went up, nice. There's a blue check mark up there. I wonder what that means. Oh, you can now purchase and rent properties marked with the blue house. I bet you that's that. Once purchased or rented, you can save your game, and each location has a hitch horse and extra ammunition and items. Poker is available to play at any time. Nice. New items are available for purchase from the stores. Can I order some whiskey? Something? Howdy, man. I guess not, huh? Oh, my bad, dude. Yo. What's your problem, partner? You trying to get a ride out of We meet again. Hmm. So that minimap even tells you probably how much money you have, right? How do I know how much money I have? Would it tell me in the satchel? Let's see. Nothing here. Is that the only thing I have? That does that, that does that. Yeah, what's up lady? Your heart's unavailable to find you, no problem. 50 dollars. I'm pretty sure I don't have 50. Not enough cash. I don't know how much cash I have. Someone in here? Okay, yeah, good. No, you're good, man. So a lot of this stuff with the mini map, I keep flip flopping on whether I want to turn it back on. And the game seems somewhat doable without it. I kind of want to try to do it without it. But it just has so much info. Like, how do I know how much money I have? Journal, let's see, challenges, strangers, no. That's the general. Would it be here somewhere? Days passed. Four days, huh? Total time played 42 minutes so far. Game 4.7 already. We're almost done. Fame, I'm a nobody. Missions completed. Four. Okay. Areas discovered. Eight, 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 eight. Uh, where's my money though? See, that's what I mean. If it was easy to find missions. Oh, no, it's to replay missions. Is that gold or is that bronze? I can't tell. Does that come into effect here? Come into play? Strangers, crimes, travels. There we go. Money. Money right now I have zero. Okay. So at least I can check it here. Uh, I do think the waypoints and the waypoint markers and where I need to go might be a problem. But like I said, we're going to try it out. I'm going to keep it off for now.
I can talk to the sheriff um, now that I'm here. But I'm thinking that's going to be part two. It's been close to an hour, not an hour already. We're like eight, seven minutes away from being an hour long. What do you guys think? Should I make these one hour long episodes, two hours long? I don't know. What's up, man? What's this? General practice. Oh, this is the doctor. General store over there. I ain't got no money, though. A lot of these games though, you end up making so much money eventually that it doesn't matter if you're broke. Alright, we'll do the first mission with the sheriff and see where that leaves us and I think I'll call it uh, the first day in this one, after this one. The political realities in Armadillo, alright. Hopefully it doesn't take me too far from here. Excuse me. Hey, hey, you got a visitor. <coughs> <laughs> Shut up, you. Now, what you want? My name's John Marston. You wanted to speak to me. <coughs> I did? Apparently so. Why? I guess because we're both in the business of the law. You that fella from the train company? No, I'm from Fort Mercer. Fort Mercer? You them one of Williamson boys. Calm down. Go on, shoot him, mister. Shoot him. <laughs> Come what? You, you getting cute with me, boy? What's going on here? I got me one of them Williamson boys. I got me one of them idiots who give marshals a bad name. Oh, no. Put your gun down. You must be the man from Blackwater. Yes, sir. Listen, that dog ain't too bright. But he seems loyal. Jonah, get out of here for a minute. Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson, sir. And you. Oh, I done seen enough of your hide around here, friend. <laughs> I think there's some school children down the way you can go and frighten. Oh, hardy fucking whore. <laughs> what are you doing here, Mr. Marston? Apart from frightening my deputies. I'm here to capture or kill Bill Williamson. <laughs> okay. Can you help me? He's outside my jurisdiction. He's in the next county. Of course, Bill Williamson and his boys have tended to keep themselves away from my town. So you're happy to have him out there? Well, I ain't happy, but I also ain't suicidal. My job is to keep this town safe, not clean up all of these three counties. It's hard enough around here. You know, I hear you speak, and suddenly I'm reminded of how some of the people I respected most in my life had a problem with authority. What's wrong with you? Well, I'm sure you and your fine friends have enjoyed spending your time running around pursuing noble causes. My cause is to keep this town from turning into a living hell for the folks who live here. The whole world has problems, mister. And I'm here doing what I can. Why? What's happening? Right now? I got the railway, the people who pay my salary, trying to get me to turn a blind eye to them burning down settlements up there. I got a bunch of cattle rustlers out near Box Canyon need shutting down. Not forgetting the gang that keeps murdering homesteaders out in the back country. And I got a bunch of hoods over in the saloon, drunk, threatening to shoot up the whole town. That's all I got today. But it's early yet. Give me a couple more days. There'll be more. All right. Tell you what. <sighs> Let's go deal with them hoods in the saloon. Then we'll discuss Williamson.
Okay, boy. You're a persistent little cuss, ain't you? Only when things matter. All right. Let's head over to the saloon. I also got to decide what kind of gunslinger I'm gonna be. Bunch of two-bit hoodlums led by this fella called Walton. Got damn road agents who prey on the stages coming in and out of town. Drivers in Armadillo spend more time with their hands in the air than on the reins these days. And you're happy to let them drink in your saloon? Happy? No. But the way I figure it, better they're carousing in there than out robbing decent folk. That's an interesting approach to law enforcement. So what I'm out by uh, what kind of gunslinger is? Uh, am I gonna be using rifles now. or handguns? Handguns is a little cooler, isn't it? But holy crawls into rifles are so effective. Let's go, Marston. I've been after that son of a bitch for months. He's seen us. Come on, don't lose him. Catch me up. I don't want to let that bastard get away. Well, hello there. I like how my horse just appeared here from nowhere. Come on. Went that way, right? There he goes. say he is, why don't we just beef him now while we got the chance? Because that ain't how the law works. Is that right, Marshal? And alive, he can still talk. Doesn't sound like he's a man to be reasoned with. He ain't. But a few days of my hospitality and he'll be telling me what I need to know. Walton's gang's been growing fast. Outlawing's easy money for easy work. Chola Springs, Gap Tooth Ridge, these boys get around. Walton's a start, but there's plenty more where he came from. He's holed up at the old Pleasant's house. Let's hold up a minute and find a spot for our horses. Looks like we got company, boys. <laughs> Damn. Take cover. We'll work our way up this hill. I got you covered. Move up to that wagon. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why isn't he locking on? I'll kill every last one of you. You ain't taking Do I need my rifle? Or do I just actually need aim now? Give it to me. There we go. You're a hard man, are you? Oh, look at that. <laughs> you boys just ain't that tough. Now get to that rock. Don't shoot some face. You're gonna die here today, mister. Hear me? There's a little one behind me out, Damn you. Move up to the outhouse, Marston. No, nope, can't jump over that. You couldn't hit a bull's ass with a bag full of banjos. Where's this other guy? I'll put a window in your skull, Walt. You better be at peace with the Lord. <laughs> Guess Walton left now. Try to take him on the 
Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, where's my lasso, man? He's making a run for it. Take him alive if you can. I'll be back for you two later. Where'd he run? You're letting him escape, Mark. I don't even know where he went. Yeah, I'm gonna have to turn on the mini map. There he is. All right. That sucks, but it is what it is. Southpaw. Auto center on, is that? Vibration, horse control, inverted camera, targeting. Okay, cool. Display. So turning that on, kill effect. Oh, so I don't need to be on my horse, huh? Stop right there, Walton. Or I'll kill you myself. How am I supposed to capture him alive? I'll be back, and when I am, you're both dead. You hear me? But where am I aiming? Put a bullet in his leg. There he is. Not a bad shot, Mr. Marshall. <coughs> Why don't you check in with me next time you're in town? I don't want to be no policeman, Marshall. <laughs> Nor did I, my friend. I can promise you that. I'll see you soon, Mr. Marshall. Did I get some money out of this? I think so, right? Because I was even thinking earlier, there we go, got 20 bucks now. Just for that, we made 20 bucks and it cost Bonnie McFarlane 15 bucks to have me repaired. All right, let's see. Medical care used to be pretty cheap, huh? While we're here, might as well loot these bodies. They're not going to need this money anymore. Something's going on outside. me <laughs> to try shooting coyotes and birds so I can get some skill some fame where's this other body but yeah I mean like I said I do plan on going a little bit slow about it you know enjoying the immersion so you guys are up for it you know Feel free to watch these uh, upcoming episodes, but yeah, I'm going to call it a day for now. Uh, almost actually. Let's, let's ride back to Bonnie McFarlane Ranch and save before I quit. I know it auto saves and it probably auto saved right here, but yeah. I do want to make sure that I save. Those guys are in a hurry. Probably getting chased by this guy. Oh wait, look, it doesn't even tell me the... Where are these horses going? I don't have a lasso yet. I can corral them horses. But I wonder... 
if I accidentally turned off auto lock because it w didn't seem to be doing it earlier. Let's go. Come on. The shooting mechanics in this game aren't good enough, I think, to be able to just kill things right easily without it. Without the auto lock, I mean, but we'll see. I'm gonna leave it as this for now. Hey, I began to increase the loyalty of my horse. Nice. Alright, we're back in Armadillo. And it said that they do have fast travel in this game. Right? It was something like hit map and then travel to destination. Here's the McFarlane Ranch. Let's see if how that works. That waypoint now. Mm. I gotta read the little prompts. They appear so quickly and they appear while you're trying to play the game. So you're like, what the hell? I'm trying to read them. And play the game at the same time, it doesn't work out. But yeah, I mean, we got some money now. Got the game started. Let's ride out to the McFarlane Ranch save. And that'll be it for today. So, to keep the horse's speed up too, I mean, I guess I could just hold A. He goes a bit slower. But if I want, I can tap A every now and then. And then have him not get too winded if you do it too much, as you can see the blue bars going down. You gotta like, tap, give it a second, tap again. Give it a second, tap again. I'm gonna ignore the shootings for now. I do find interesting how the McFarlane Ranch has like a main road going right through the center of it. And like uh, Arthur said earlier, I mean they got their own general store here. So that's a little crazy. Must be a pretty rich, rich farm. Go ahead and save and yeah thanks for watching guys see you on the next one save here all right y'all have a good one peace